Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go Go, go Yeah. Mm. Man, I love that. So I hope everybody's doing great this morning. Um, me personally, I'm doing pretty good. The weather is awesome. Like this morning when I got up, it was like 65 degrees out. It's only supposed to be like in the 80s today. Which the past two days of working on the Jeep was awesome. I mean, out in the direct sunlight, it was a little warm, but it wasn't bad at all. I didn't even have a fan going in the shop. So, that tells you how awesome it was. I still have no idea when I'm getting the windshield put back in the Jeep. Hopefully this week. Uh, Billy forgot to call the guy that took it out last week so hopefully he'll remember this week but I think next week really all I can do cause like I said I'm, I, I had to order 8 inch arrow ports from big ass ports and sometimes that guy man he'll get your stuff in the mail really quick and then sometimes he might wait 2 weeks before he even ships it out so who knows but, you know, I really, I got the baffle boards cut. Um, and really all I can do at this point is the 45s because I need the ports to do the baffle. You know, I can cut the sub holes in the baffle, but that's like literally all I can really do is cut the sub holes. I need the ports to actually be able to cut the port holes. I'm gonna use a router to cut everything. And I really need to measure the port to cut the hole and everything before I really permanently put the baffle in. I can't put the two boards on each side above the baffle that go on the sides until the baffle's in. Therefore, I really can't even do uh, the 45s because I need that last layer up there. So I'm pretty sure the enclosure is at a standstill. Um, which kind of sucks. So at this point, God, I guess Sunday I can go out and I, yeah, I can cut the sub hose in the baffle. And after that, um, there's really not much more I can do except for uh, deading the floors and wiring. I got a wiring nightmare in there, guys. God, there's a wiring nightmare. You know, a lot of the stuff went to, uh, like, I know I got wires in there for my power door locks. Um, great, you know, that work off the alarm. But I know what they go to, because they go to two relays. So, the other things I had in there, you know, I got like a voltmeter that ran off the battery in the back through a relay. Um the wiring for my alternator well my voltage regulator that goes out to the alternators and then I have like wheel lights under it them are golden you know I like them but uh I had like some LEDs in the enclosure so that wiring I can get rid of it's just I need to figure out all that wiring I don't even know what kind of wires I had run to my doors uh Hell, I thought it was CCA. I started looking at it. It actually looked like pretty good wire, but I just bought a spool of wire <laughs> to run to my door. So I don't know. I might have had uh, OFC running to the doors this whole time. But anyway, you know, however it is, I need to get it out of there. I bought brand new wiring. So I do have like just a lot of little bitty things going on with the jeep that i can be doing while i'm waiting on the ports so guys if you're you know 
I kind of laid out how I start an enclosure. You know, I always start with a roof, then the floor, and then do sides. Uh, it's way easier if you build inside of the wheel wells because you're just building a square at that point. That is a whole lot easier than what I just did. Um, so far, you know, I've built two walls and helped with a couple. And the first time I did the Jeep, it was kind of rough because it was the first wall I built. Now, when I did the Blazer, everything was a whole lot easier. Uh, this here is probably the most difficult that I've done because all the layers are different going in because of like the angle of the roof and how high I can take them boards on the sides up. Uh, it's like, you know, each layer is going a little higher. I didn't go out as far as I could because I still needed room for amplifiers to be able to mount behind the back door. So, I think that might have cost me because, you know, like I've said before, I really like for my sixth orders to be like at 1.5 to 1 or more. Doing all the math, man, I'm going to be at like 1.2 to 1 before sub displacement and port displacement, which I'm going to even out the ports between the top and bottom. So, that ain't going to affect the ratio, but... I think max, I'm going to be at like 1.1 to 1, 1.2 to 1. And it might be a demo monster, which is really all I'm going for. But it, it probably ain't going to do great numbers on the meter. Because having that bigger ratio kind of amplifies everything. So we're just going to be coming out of it with raw power. <laughs> and see what it does. Uh... If I don't like it, I can always rip it out and drop back down to four subs. I mean, that's just the way it is. I think when I put everything in, I'm going to be putting everything in to be able to be cut out uh, or taken out really easy. As in, I'm going to make it easy to pull the baffle out. <clears throat> and probably the uh, back wall will be able to come off relatively easy. That way... If I have to, if I don't like it, you know, I can pull it apart. And uh, at that point, I can change the baffle up if I need to be, you know, drop it down. Just put four subs back in it and go back at it. I think it's going to be a whole lot windier this time. Which, you know, she got pretty windy last time. But I'm thinking this time it's going to be like stupid windy, which is kind of what I'm wanting. So, I mean, we'll see. It is what it is, guys. You know, I just... I knew I was going to have room for 615s in there. Uh, it's them Jeeps are really small in the back. So, like I said, I kind of laid out a baffle before. Fitting six in there, and I had a little more room than what I do, what I wound up with. But... The baffle board I just made is bigger than the mock-up one. But when I did the mock-up, I pretty much had the subwoofers kind of like bumping each other or just almost touching each other. And I realized I used a basket without a gasket on it. That gasket takes up a little room. You need a little room between them. And things just, you know, when I kind of did a layout of my current baffle... I didn't have room back there for a slot port, <clears throat> but I had room for arrow ports, and arrow ports, I think, are superior to slot ports, guys. I I prefer an arrow. I was just going to do a slot because of, it'd fit easier, I thought, and it wouldn't, but anyway, guys, that's just my little recap from the weekend. I didn't, I didn't get to talk a whole, whole lot during the videos because... <laughs> my mind when i start a project my mind just kind of stays full force on that and like yesterday me and the wife went out there and my goal was to just kind of get another layer of floor in another layer of roof in and maybe some sound deadener down and you know we wound up doing like a lot more we kind of got everything done enclosure wise that we could really do 
and the fiberglass and the wheel wells, which I planned on doing that yesterday, but I really wasn't planning on getting all three baffle boards cut and slid in there. So me and the wife worked together really, really well. Uh, like I said, putting them roof pieces up, just me and her was a pain in the butt, but kind of both of you get it held in place and throw a two before on the old jack, let the board rest there and lift it up and just kind of touch it up there, smack it in place with the hammer gently, gently. And that worked out really well. So me and her do work together really well, but which we've been working together forever doing stuff like that. So anyway, I don't know. At this point, I'm, I'm just kind of lost on the video. I just wanted to do something to recap the weekend. But anyway, you guys that are like planning on doing a wall build or whatever, that is just my way of doing things. Like I said it's a lot easier if you go inside the wheel wells because you don't have to cut out around the wheel wells for floor and sides. It'll go a whole lot quicker. With this being my third one, if I would have just went inside of wheel wells, I think I could have had all three layers uh, top bottom and sides done the first day just because it'd be so easy to do and this has been a lot more difficult but anyway guys i hope these videos help some of you guys peace out and as always base on